It takes a multitude of moments to capture one moment truthfully. For automotive photographer David Saccio, capturing the essence of Paul Messina's MG started long before the shutter is open. It started in 1929. Today we're at the Cape Cod Airfield in Marston Mills, Massachusetts. It's an old grass airfield. They do biplane rides here and uh, they do skydiving. But the reason that we're here is because of the fantastic uh, old hangar that is going to be the main setting for the photograph that we're doing for the 47 MGTC. When I first saw the MG, we were looking for an environment that gave it more of a period type look, something that was older. We photographed his Corvette previously and that was a different feel to it. He found this airfield and it really is perfect. You know, instantly we connected with it. Uh, the hangar behind me is the original, it dates from 1929. And the idea of putting a newer car but still very old in front of it just seemed like uh, the right contrast. We'll come in from this angle so that we capture all of the hangar. Okay. But then the MG ends up being that primary piece right in front. The photographer's primary task is to capture a still image that tells a moving story. That's really what I try to do with what I call the fine art shot, where you could look at it and in your head you started to paint your own picture and your own story. Before the story is revealed, each detail must be brought into focus. The sunset will over come there. right over the hangar okay. and right behind it, so we should get really pretty sky. Okay. This one, I have it exactly how I want it in my mind, how, how it's gonna be composited, how it's gonna be laid out. He zeroes in on the details, and so when that inspiration, the right combination of the car and the lighting, uh, the angles, um, when all those all come together, that's when he'll start taking his shots and uh, it just works very well. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. Don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, not get, I'm not getting that on the phone. <laughs> we know exactly where the sun's gonna set, so we're lined up for that. So we're really looking forward to creating this photo and this image and this story. This story is a history lesson in chrome and metal. It's a 1947 MGTC. It's a design really that comes from the late 1920s, early 1930s. It's design interrupted by a world at war. It became a vehicle forged in a time of victory. Well, that was part of the attraction of this is because after everybody came back at the end of the war, they had nothing to spend their money on that they made and they got in line to buy these. And, um, and the Americans, they had never seen anything, anything like, like this. Yeah. And when they saw this, it, they just fell in love with them. And when the GIs started coming back to the States, they started exporting these and bringing them back. And so the importance of this car for me is that it really began the sports car craze in the U.S. The badges in the front, there's two of them there that are um, military and they would adorn their cars with these remnants, you know, yeah. a, a recognitions of their military service. There's usually not such outward signs of how we cherish our cars, but it is there to the trained observer. The connection between man and machine, it's love. We all have cars in our life that just mean something special to us. Got three cars and, and they're each very different and they're each pieces of art. It is that connection that David Saggio tries to illuminate. What really, I think, differentiates me from a lot of the other automotive photographers is that I focus exclusively on collectors, collections, and aficionados. And I create these custom commissioned books for them where I go through the car in detail and capture the beauty of it and all the detail and then create an archival quality, large scale coffee table book the cars are expressing themselves in a way that I hadn't seen them before. It's a combination of the details and close-up shots, as well as the um, lighting and angles 
and then the editing work that David does to really bring out those, um, those high points. When you're talking about those people who genuinely love their cars, it becomes a family heirloom. And it's like the old photo albums that you'd have of the family. And that really makes an emotional connection with them. A connection that brings emotion to the photographer. It's the best part of what I do. Uh, to see somebody go through the book and you can hear the joy in their voice or the smile on their face when they open it up and they get to look at those photographs and get that wonderful feeling about their car again. That's really special.